Hi, I'm Jonathan Pope, one of the members of the New Zealand Bomber Command Association. It's Sunday, June the 12th, and we've just had our annual remembrance ceremony up at the Auckland War Memorial Museum. Quite wonderful to see the veterans still alive, well, and so wonderful to talk to, and representatives from several countries, including Canada and the USA, for the first time this year. But behind me is our Avro Lancaster. I suppose you'll probably know a fair bit about this aircraft, but it's a Mark 7 NX665 that was taken over by the French for nearly 50 years and became one of the last four operating Lancasters in the world before it came to Motet. It suffered some deprivations on arrival at Motat and required a major restoration, most of it done by ex-Bomber Command members and other engineers, which produced an aircraft that was capable of running all four engines. It's deteriorated a bit since then, but we've done our best. However, just recently we've turned the corner. We are adamant that in future, the condition of this aircraft will improve year on year. Maybe a little, maybe a lot, but it will never go backwards again. And to that intent, we've been in touch with East Kirkby and their Lancaster NX611, with the RAF Memorial Flight and their Lancaster PA474, and the Canadians with their Vera and we have all the documentation on maintenance and overhaul and repair of the aircraft. We've started with inhibiting the engines. A little bit late because they last ran 20 years ago, but we have now inhibited them and continue to turn them to keep them fresh. And we're now working through the entire structure, surveying it for any serious faults and putting them right as necessary and then doing the lesser maintenance tasks, which I might, might call lesser, but which are vital to keep this aircraft in the condition it's in now, in a hundred years' time, and a hundred years after that as well, as well, so that people will always be able to come and see it. Those lucky ones and those with a reason will always be able to come and go inside it and learn its secrets, its history and its personality because to a lot of people it has a personality. It's an aircraft, but it's a being as well. We are starting, as I say, to do some work, and if people feel they have the skills or the time or can help in any way, then please do get in touch through the uh, Wings Over New Zealand forum or by any other route. And if you can assist us, we would be very grateful. Thanks.